Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening, good evening. How are you guys doing this evening? Um, I'm going to get right into this because um, I don't want the clients have to come out too late to get it. And um, I promised MJ that we would uh, watch something he wants to watch before he goes to bed. So I'm going to jump right into this and get started and put my phone on do not disturb because it'll be just my luck. I get a call in the middle of this. As you can hear, my voice is still not quite there, but it's a whole lot better than it was before. I think you guys can hear me a lot better now than um, it did. So it is getting better. Um, maybe if my children stop acting crazy to where I have to keep yelling at them to stop fighting, my son and my niece, um, <coughs> it'll get better. But as of right now, yeah, it's just kind of crazy. Um, but as you guys can see from the title screen, we are going to do some graduation fans today. And I'm going to sublimate them. And as you can see at the bottom, it's going to be laminated cardstock. And I'm going to cut it with my cameo. So I'm going to break down and explain, you know, why I did it this way. A couple of reasons why I did it this way. Um, but I'm going to explain all of that just as soon as we get started. So go ahead, come on in, drop a hey, how you doing? Um, let me know what you are working on and what are you creating tonight? Let me know uh, where you are watching from, if you are a first timer and all that kind of good jazz. All right. Um, I'm going to get a drink of water. So we will officially get started in 30 seconds. All right, y'all. Hello and welcome back again. I am Shakia, the professor of Honesty Speaking, HSC 365, 365 Creative Academy, and Silaholics Anonymous. I do live videos like this and I have a whole academy. <coughs> Whoa. Um, of the academy where I teach you guys how to design and the basics of graphic designing in Silhouette Studio, which is a standalone um, kind of gateway graphic designing program. You can do a lot within the program, even the free version. And I make it my effort to try and teach you guys how to do that. 93.65% of the things that I do, I design and make from Silhouette Studio. You know, use other programs every now and then, but for the most part, I do all of my stuff, like all of my creatives and all the things I make for orders and stuff. I do it all in Silhouette Studio and use either just regular printing, sublimation, or doing print and cuts and things like that with Silhouette Studio. So today's live broadcast is brought to you by the letters H, S, I, N, K, and the numbers 3, 6, 5, and 0. Because over on our website, hse365.com, we sell that change the game sublimation paper that allows you to sublimate as low as 365 degrees and as fast as 30 seconds, which you guys will get to see tonight because like I said, I am going to sublimate and we're going to sublimate onto laminated cardstock. So you're gonna see our paper in action at 365 degrees for just 30 seconds. Also, we have sublimation ink. If you have an Epson 7720, whether you use it for sublimation or regular printing, well, 7710, 7720, 7610, 7620, any of those old school workforce printers, um, and also some of the expressions, if you're using those, we have a chip resetter on our site. We have um, like color charts, there's files and templates, and so much more heat tape. You're going to see us use that tonight um, in six different sizes. So all that is on our website, hsinc365.com. Um, all orders placed before 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time go out the same day. Um, and after that, it'll just go out the next day. All right. So like I said, we're going to get right into this. I'm going to go over to Silhouette Studio just so that you guys can see the design screen. I'm going to break down why I'm doing it this way. Uh, but let's just go ahead and say hello to a few folks. Quite a few of you guys in here. 
So, um, let's see who all is in the building. Hey, Ms. Johnson. Hey, Ms. Cheryl. Beverly, how are you? Uh, LaDonna Walker, how, how art thou? Uh, Cheryl's Creations. Hello, Judy. Good evening. Good evening, Shelly. Um, hey, lady. Mm -hmm. Let me, okay. I had to get it out of the way because last couple of lives, I waited all the way to the end before I sang somebody's song. <laughs> but how are you doing, Sheila Carter? Good evening. Hello, Scrappy Tate. How are you? Um, Phyllis Brown, B Embellished Crafts. How are you? Finding her way 2020. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, Belinda, hey, girl, hey. Um, Laverne, um, Kanye, how are you? I am wonderful and yourself. Hey, Miss Holloman. Hello, Brenda. Miss Howell. Um, um, a banner that is an unusual size, 96 inches by 40 inches. Are you just designing it to have it sent off to a printer? Colorful Kia. Hey, that's they call me Kia too. Just spelled differently. Hi, Vanessa. Helen, how are you? How are you? Miss Carol, Tina. Hey, Becky, um, Elizabeth, Brenda, Danny, how are you? Um, hello, 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 hello there. Oh, that, that's how um, Tabitha Brown says it. Hello there. Um, Sandra, how are you? Oh, another Sandra right behind you. Miss Adams. Um, I was watching your other video when this one popped up. Well, make sure you go back and watch that one. Make sure you like that one and you like this one too, okay? Uh, Vicky, how are you? Joyce, um, how are you this evening? All right. So a couple of reasons why I am doing this graduation fan this way. And y'all know what? I did not share this out. Let me go ahead and share this out real quick. Um, because I forgot. <laughs> I just got right into this and got started because I knew that I had to do something with the boys um, before they go to bed. So I'm trying to get it done. At least have like 30 minutes with the boys um, before they go to bed. But let me um all right, hold on. I gotta open it up here and then share it out. All right, hold on. Just give me a moment um, so that I can share this out. Copy. And if you guys don't mind, go ahead and hit share as well. I'm just going to share this to my Facebook groups. But you guys can share it there also. The more the merrier as far as sharing. You can even share from YouTube. Just click on the share button and then choose Facebook. And you can share it wherever. Share it to your page, your groups, and things like that. I would greatly appreciate the digital currency, the digital love. If you guys would go ahead and share that out. Ooh, I feel like my face is right up in the darn screen. Jesus. All right, one last one here. Okay, there we go. So I'll share it out. 
Um, so my 7720 <clears throat> that I use for regular printing is acting kind of cuckoo crazy and it's printing out kind of weird. And then my 7840, um, I wanted to use the glossy paper, but glossy paper actually is not great for the 7820, 7840. They have way too many pinwheels. So I'm not sure if it's like because it's a thicker paper. I need to get a thinner glossy paper and see if that makes a difference. But my actual glossy paper is really thick. So you were able to see all of those 30 million pinwheels on it. That just wasn't going to work for me. <clears throat> Because I've never gotten that with the other, um, like with my 7720. But that one's acting crazy. So I had to think quick on my feet. The other thing with this is, I know the person who this is for, she very extra like me. And so she likes, hey, the bigger the better. So by me doing it this way, I'm able to take full advantage of, oh, I didn't realize that was still on. I'm able to take full advantage of a, an 11 by 17 sheet of paper. So when you're doing, I'm going to actually go, let's just, rather than me trying to explain it to you, let's just go over to Silhouette Studio right now. All right. So let's copy this and then open up a new one. So if I wanted to do this as a print and cut, if I turn on my registration marks, I'm going to take my thickness up, even if I take my insets all the way out. Oh, actually, I would have been okay with this. I actually could have gone a little bit bigger. Um, I didn't even pay that any attention. So I could have gone, actually could have gotten this as a regular print and cut too. But let's say if I would have gone just a little bit bigger, like right, right, right to the edge. I don't know why. Oh, I guess because the first time I didn't change the insets. But I could have made this just a little bit bigger. Um, and at this size, I'm not worried about the restrictive area up here because that's not really a restrictive area. That's just telling me that it wouldn't cut this part and i would have had to manually cut it now to make it this size the print would go into the restrictive area here and of course still be outside of the cut line like the cut area um but with this way which i guess i could have gone a little bit bigger um but my original thought was hey i take full advantage of the 11 by 17 by not doing it as a print and cut i'm just going to do it as a regular sublimation print and then press it to cardstock that has been cut. Um, so that's a, a, a little hack for that, especially if you're going to do sublimation um, to take advantage of like a full page. I often do that whenever I'm making posters and I want it to go edge to edge. I will use 11 by 17 or 12 by 18 paper, but print it on my 13 by 19 sublimation paper so that I can have a bleed. And then it goes like all the way to the edge because I don't really care for how borderless printing does and i don't like to do borderless printing it's more of a risk to get ink inside of your well so i don't like to do borderless printing um so i've used it often for like those different purposes so i've done most of the leg work um i have cut this i've cut the backing out i've printed everything out and um i'm gonna then cut i've actually cut all of the laminate but so that you guys can see it i'm gonna go ahead and just cut one more so that you guys can see it like cut out um or just me said it's just a regular cut, but just so you guys can see that full process. But I actually have all the pieces that I need already, um, so that this wasn't you know too too long. Oh, excuse me, mom. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna head over to the heat press and we're going to press the laminate to the cardstock. Okay. All right. Move all this out of the way. So I use laminate on a roll. I got this from OfficeSupply.com, but I have, and I'm, again, I was rushing. I've had it on other videos. It's on my Amazon store. There is one on Amazon. I'm not sure if it's 12 or 13 inches wide, but they do have um, like a roll of it on Amazon. This came as a really, really, really big, big roll. And I used my husband's table saw to cut it in half. And it came as two. So it was two big 24 inch rolls. And I cut them down. Well, I only cut one down um, as of now. And I still have the other one um, because, of course, I don't need it to be 24 inch. Although, the, actually, the 24 inch one 
has come in handy because I actually have used that one once or twice. But eventually I'll cut that one down also. So I'm just going to put this down. This does not stick to the silicone mat. So you don't have to waste like butcher paper or parchment paper or anything like that when you're first pressing it. Just go ahead and put it down um, on your paper. And I'm just going to use my straight blade to go ahead and cut off the roll. Smooth it out. And then I'm going to press it for 10 seconds. See, it doesn't stick to it. Now, doing, be mindful that doing it this way, this first one's not going to curl that much. But once I go to press it to get the subprint, it will curl. So you do have to put this on something else to keep it flat because it will curl. Even when I make um, posters and things like that, I either turn it over and try and press it aside to flatten it out. And then I'll glue it to a regular piece of paper to um, thicken it and to make it where it doesn't curl so much. With these, we're going to make a graduation fan. So we're going to put popsicle sticks in the middle of it. Um, or yeah, behind it so that it doesn't um, it doesn't curl, and we're gonna put a backing on it. So I'm just cutting this off so that I can line it up perfect. Although it, it's not a print and cut, so I really don't have to line it up perfectly on the mat. I'm not cutting the sides, but I don't I don't want this part on here so that when I put my tape down to hold it. If your mat is super sticky, you won't have to hold put tape down to hold it. But I'm going to have to because my mat is not super sticky. See? So it's just going to cut it like a regular cut. I'm just going to do this on this side. <clears throat> Yes, I use a Cricut mat with my Cameo. I can't stand Cameo mats, so I only use Cricut mats until we find a new vendor because we are we had issues with the other one. I just haven't had time to find a new vendor for our HS ink mats. So for now, I still use Cricut mats. So I'm just going to take this down. Just to make sure it doesn't move. But I'm also going to take my squeegee and go over my tape, make sure that it's down, kind of go over the edges a little bit. I don't like, if this was my wet squeegee, I would go over the middle, but this is not my wet squeegee, and this one would leave streaks on here. So I'm not going to squeegee that. Oh, don't put it near your heat. Don't do like I'm doing over your heat press. I'm only doing it because of like moving the, the camera around. I didn't want it to move around too much. So, but don't do like me and don't, cause it will warp your mat. The heat from your heat press will warp your mat. All right, give me just a second and I'm going to flip you guys around. Oh, I forgot. My bad. Ha, ha thank you. I don't even see how I, I was on the other one. So sorry, you guys missed that part. But it was just me pressing it. Um, and then now I'm going to flip you guys around. Hold on one second. I thought I'd changed that view, but I guess I didn't. Sorry. Well, I really like I don't understand like what's going on with the lighting in this office. It's always so weird. Like I can't get, I don't know. It's like it's always so dark, and I don't understand why. 
Like, I just don't understand why it's always so dark over here. All right. So because it's laminate, I don't use the, I'm going to hit cancel. I don't use the auto blade. I use the ratchet blade. So that's what's in mine. I can't stand the auto blade and it, it cuts totally different. So for this, um, I'm going to use a blade of seven, a force of 26, two passes, a speed of seven because it is laminated and the car sock itself is 80 pounds. So it's thick. So I need it to really go through. So I'm going to use those settings and we're going to go ahead and just hit send. And that's going to go and cut. See, I don't do the, all that tap, 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 tap stuff. All right. While that's going, we're going to go ahead because that's just going to cut. Nothing special with it. We're going to go ahead and press, prep and press the other prints. So I'm going, oh, I can't even change the camera view. You have to watch that because I can't change the camera view. <laughs> All right, so we'll just wait for that one because Did it fully cut the first time? Oh, that's interesting. This time it actually fully cut the first time. I don't know what the heck happened this time because last time it didn't fully cut on the first go round. Oh, it fully cut. We're going to go ahead and take you out and it's into you going again. See, some areas didn't quite cut. And I probably could have just added some more force to it. And maybe last time I just didn't press it down enough. Because before all the, all the other ones, it wasn't cutting. So we're technically done with this. I don't need this anymore. And throw this away. I need to get, I need to leave this camera stationary on this table and I need to get another camera for the heat press. So hold on just a moment. We're gonna turn you around. All right. So I've already taped this one down. So we're gonna tape this down. And I'm just going to, I like to kind of take my tapes off and put it on my hand. Don't ask me why. I don't know. Just, I'm just weird like that. I guess because I have to turn it and that's on the other side. So just take a couple pieces off. And now I'm just going to line this up to this. Oh, I should have made sure the top part was lined up before I take down the bottom. 
And I'm kind of mad at myself because I wasn't thinking about how thin this darn tassel was and the fact that it might, I don't think it's going to survive. <laughs> um, and I may end up having just cut the tassel off because it's really thin. I should have put an offset around it or put a background on it to where it gave it more stability in this really, really thin area. I wasn't thinking so. Yeah. So I'm just going to tape it down in a few places just to help keep it down because like I said, it will curl. As the laminate cools, it curls up. So that's that. And I'm just going to flip it onto my butcher paper and press it for 30 seconds. So that one's done. And I just realized, oh gosh, I forgot to. Oh, wait. Before I take that off, let's stop. I forgot to record this part for TikTok. I was trying to show y'all, but it stuck to it. All right. If it rips the paper off a little bit in the back, it's okay. Because a backing is going on this anyway. All of my backings already and all i did was just put regular cardstock and just send it to cut um the same exact way so the backings are already done so now we're just going to go and put them all together with some hot glue all right let me move you over here i don't need my mat um All right, let me just get some things over here first. Where is my parchment paper? Where did my parchment paper go? I always use parchment paper underneath when I'm doing things with hot glue. 
because it makes it easier to clean it up if anything spews out because parchment paper is non-stick. All right, let's go ahead and flip you guys um, around to the other side. So my back is technically to you guys. So if you ask a question and I don't answer it right away, um, I'm not ignoring you. I am. My back is just to the cam to the monitor right now. All right. Let me finish taking this off. Um, Leisha, I don't know. Um, I just maxed off. Uh, my goal was to max it out to 11 by 17 piece of paper. So I don't know the exact size. I never have exact sizes. Um, the size it becomes always depends on the design and whether or not I'm doing a true print cut or whatever size paper I'm making it fit. Ooh, try not to pull too much paper. You don't want it to be thin. It is better if you remove this when it's hot versus letting it cool down. Once it cools down, it kind of sticks to the paper. So it's better to remove it hot. As soon as it comes off the heat press where it's still like tack, like it's still loose. All right. So all these sticks come from, these came from Walmart. Um, you can use the curved ones. There are jumbo ones like this and giant ones inside Home Depot as well, but these particular ones came from Walmart. Oh, my, my glue gun turned off on me, so I got to wait for it to heat back up. And this is kind of weird. So you have to watch when you're designing because this is going to seem kind of weird because it's not going to seem like it's centered. But I know that it it actually is centered. But because of the way it's designed and that split, it doesn't look centered. I might move that over to like right there some so that it looks a little bit more like centered. <laughs> So I just build my, oh, that was the wrong sticks. No wonder, I'm like, why did it not reach? I did that last time too, to where I used the wrong size sticks. So these are actually three different sticks that are in here right now. I hate this. Um, I prefer an 80 or 300 watt glue gun. I have no idea where my big glue gun is. And I just purchased a new one and I still don't know where it's at. So I'm going to have to cut this one and nope, I'm going to just put it in there like that. Okay.
Okay, yeah, this glue gun is going to drive me absolutely insane because it's coming out too thick and not runny enough for me. All right, so now that's done like that. Whoa, I just realized his cap didn't go. I guess I had it. I must. It must have been off of the press. And now I'm going to take my background or well, my back part of it. Oh, that's why it's on low. Is I doing balloons with this one? Why I have it on low? When was the last time? No, I just did fans with this one. I don't know how it got on low. There we go. It's going a lot better now. But I still don't like this. And this is only a 60 watt. I prefer an 80 or higher. Yes, I like glue guns that are going to darn near burn my fingers off. Next one up. I have four to do. All right. You know what? Let me pull you guys up on my phone. That way I can answer questions. Just give me a moment and I can see what you guys are typing. Okay. Thank you. Um, so my sticks are I just had the oh, we're sitting behind you out on the other one. 
I currently get them from Amazon. I used to get them from Home Depot and they stopped selling them. Um, they don't come in a box like this anymore. You order from Home Depot, I mean, from Amazon, it's going to just be a, a brown box with a little Sure Bonder. But I only use Sure Bonder glue sticks. This is a Sure Bonder glue gun, but it's 60 watts. It's not bad, but it's not like great. I prefer the higher wattage. And I use an Arrow 300 watt. I got it from Home Depot, but they also have it on Amazon. It's so weird because the middle point is like right here. So that's like, that's one of the things you have to be mindful of when you're designing is little things like that, like placement of weird things when you have to put things in the center. I always hold it in my hand like as if I'm holding the fan and then I put it down. That's how I know my placement. So I brought it to the edge of my table so that I can put it down. And that's how I know my placement. I'm actually going to use it. That actually worked out better to use the thinner sticks because then I can go up further into his head. Actually, can I do this one? Yeah, I can. See, I don't have very many of these. I need to go get some more. I'm actually out of this size. I have a bunch of these, so I have to be careful with these and how many I use. I don't have very many of those left. Um, thank you, thank you. Um, that is the Cameo 4. It's not my favorite, but it's the one that's here. The one I use, but it's not my favorite Cameo. Of course, I prefer my two or my original, but that is the four. This is wonderful. I've never seen these made. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I definitely can see them all from YouTube. Sometimes I don't see all of them from Facebook. And this is the exact same way I make my centerpieces. I give everything a skeleton and it just makes it where it's sturdier. Dang it, I should have put a big stick here. Are you dry? Because now it's not coming all the way to the bottom. Yeah, it'll be okay. So a beginner tip, um, if you're new to doing these and you're not quite, you know, you're not quite confident with them staying in place, position it and then get the really small binder clips and clip it so that it stays in place while you glue it um, so it doesn't shift. So that's a good um, beginner tip is to use the small binder clips to hold it in place. Especially if you're doing like a two foot a two foot piece. Actually, I want to start on this side. Because I don't want to have to keep lifting that area because that tassel is that the area that it's connected to is very, very thin. But we have to make sure that this is lined up perfectly before I start gluing because then I won't be able to adjust it.
No, because if you do this side, everything will be backwards. This is just to cover the sticks. There's words on here. So if you flip it, all of your words will be backwards. And so it has, as I said, this is not going to survive, especially because I know how they are. That's not going to survive. That was bad on my part. Um, you want, um, normally when I do this, I have it where it comes all the way down and connects. I can probably like bend it and glue that like right to the back. I think I'm going to do that. And the stole he has on, I designed that too in Silhouette Studio and I sublimated it. See, the glue comes right off of the parchment paper. So if there's anything there, I just wipe it off on the floor and then I'll sweep it up probably in two weeks. <laughs> Now, everyone doesn't design them this way. This is my way of doing them. Or they don't make them. Some people just make them and they'll just put one big like um, paint stirrer to the back and that's it. I don't like that look, so I don't do mine that way.
Hello and welcome to everyone that is just joining. Good evening. I am making some graduation fans that I made with, um, I did like with sublimation. So I laminated the, just some regular eight and a half, well, eight and a half, 80 pound cardstock. So I laminated it um, underneath the heat press and then I taped it to my sublimation print and printed, um, pressed it for 365 degrees for 30 seconds. That's the setting for our paper, honestly speaking, sublimation paper. Um, you may end up having to do like 375, 385, somewhere in there, um, or 400 if you're using a different sub paper um, for about 30, 45 seconds. But with honestly speaking, sublimation paper, it's 365 for 30 seconds. Hey, Chrissy. Hey, Nuan. Hello, um, Andrea Roberts. Um, for the Cricut, like the Cricut Easy Presses, I still use 365. Um, it's just about how much pressure you put on it. So, I mean, the time may vary depending on, you know, how much strength you have to apply pressure to it. But I still set my Easy Presses to 365. Um, I've even used, um, oh shoot, this was off a little bit. Dang it. I've even used, um, because the original Cricut Easy Press only goes, some of them only go to 350, some only go to 360. So I've used the, well, people have used the original Cricut Easy Press. So on mine, I've set it to 350 and it still worked. 360, you just have to um, maybe press it for a little bit longer, but I have done 360 and 350 with our paper on the easy press, I may end up having to just hold it for 60 seconds instead of 30 seconds. Ooh, too much glue spewed out. And I pushed it over a little bit too far, but it's okay. That's just to keep that tassel in place. So it's very sturdy. A lot of wind. All right, last one. Four. I only had to make four.
Dang it. It's too close on that side. So I have to come from this way. Does lemon sheets um, come large or do you use more than one? Never use more than one because you're going to see it. I use a roll. So I talked about that in the beginning. I'll go back over everything that I use, but I use a roll. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are a master of all trades. You're blessed and skilled in a lot of uh, art crafts. Oh, thank you. I love being a creative. Um, okay. Um, oh, next year you will be getting lots of orders. So get ready. The vest, the cup, and the fans, those are so pretty. I will be getting a lot of orders from who? Um, I don't actually, like Reza right now, it's just so much running, honestly speaking. And then my... Um, thank you. I was about to say that um, with our, our amazing Salvation Paper and Ink and then my Academy. And I'm going to be doing some new things with the Academy next year. It doesn't leave me a lot of time to do these. I like to design them. Um, once we do get into a storefront situation, um, I want to hire someone like, and teach someone and hire someone that can make things like this. Like even if I go and I, I design them like at night but they can come in the next day and make them but i don't have a lot of time to do this type of stuff anymore i gotta really love you in order to do it <laughs> so i really don't advertise anymore although i mean i still get a lot of orders even though i don't advertise because there are certain people who they're not going to take no for an answer i'm going to try and do this from this side because it was messing up last time there are some people that just don't <coughs> They don't take no for an answer. This client is one of them. I told her I was busy. Think she cared? No. She lucky I love her. We've been friends since high school and we graduated in 1999. I mean, she don't fault some people for me, so I can't tell her no ever. <laughs> I mean, she's like, she my ride or die. Toon squad forever, baby.
Oh, they can want one all they want. Well, actually, I'm gonna say that graduation fans, I do. So this, like, this is the one thing that I will do. Um, and then the tumblers, but the vest and all that stuff, no, I don't do all of those. But my yard sign, like, gra I will say this: grass season is really the only time I take orders. Um, the one in May, I normally hide from people for the winter graduations, <laughs> but the one in the summer graduations, high school, um, colleges from daycares, from everything. I'm normally really, really busy during that time because that's like a, especially for high school seniors, like that's a once in a lifetime thing. So I make time for them when it comes to yard signs, graduation bands. And then now like this year, I started doing like the whole Tumblr thing. So that, yes, but like the vest and all that, no, I don't do it. <laughs> Well, I don't craft, I create, um, but cre creating can be tedious. Um, yes, I design 93.65% of everything that I do in silhouette. Um, I've done some where it's just vinyl on Coraplast. And of course, I will cut those from my Cameo. Um, for the printed ones, I designed them in Silhouette Studio. And before, I used to send them to a printer. But now we have our own printer in-house. I have, I now have an EcoSolvent printer. And I can print directly to vinyl. So I'll be printing my own yard signs this year. Well, next year. Oh, I forgot to glue it to make, um, to extend it. But yes, I design in Silhouette Studio and print them and then mount it to Core Class. But thank you so very much for the compliment. And I've been doing this for years. Um, if you look on my Instagram, you'll see quite a few of them from 2018. Is when I really started posting them. But I've been making these for years. But that, like 2018, um, when I was making them before, they were like very sporadic because I didn't know a lot of people. I don't advertise this stuff anymore. Um, but 2018, it's like everybody and their mama who I knew had a kid that was graduating high school. So I was super, super busy that year. Guess what? I have to make another one. I did not, because I was talking to you guys, I did not record my TikTok content. So I'm going to have to cut another one for the backing and make another one. Good thing I did have another print already done that's already laminated. And I have another print, but that print is on tacky paper. But it's not going to look that bad anyway. But I now have to do another one because I was looking at y'all comments and I did not record any of my TikTok content. So let's do that again, shall we? And I'm low on sticks too. All right. Let's do this. Yeah, I don't have any more big sticks. Dang it. I'm going to have to use all small sticks in this one. 
Zing it, zing it, zing it, zing it. Actually, I'm going to look on the drawer to see if I have any more of the large sticks. I don't want to do this with all baby sticks. Nope, those are all small. This is a big one. I don't need this. I'm going to leave this here just so that I can show it for TikTok purposes. And let's hope and pray I still have some. No! I have no more jumbo sticks. You gotta be kidding me. I'm about to do this one with all baby sticks. That sucks. Oh, ha ha. Please tell me there are some jumbo ones in here. Not all baby sticks. Please, please, please. Ooh, I found one more. The rest are giants. No. No. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, boy. Dang it. I only have two. They are popping because they are done with our honestly speaking sublimation ink and sublimation paper. You can only, it only results in popping colors when you're using our branded products. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. Hey, Lakeisha. All right. So you guys get to see it one more time only because I need to create TikTok content. So, let's put all of these in here. Let's grab my mat. Which is time to start cutting on the other side because this mat is getting ridiculous. Good thing I didn't turn off my heat press. Okay, wait, where did my tape go? I just had my tape bracelet. What'd I do with it? Oh, there you are. All right, let me take my camera. Oh, it sees you guys as a video call. Hold on. Let me leave out of StreamYard.
that went in crooked. Now watch this time it does oh it did cut. I would say watch this time it doesn't cut in one pass. All right. While that's cutting, I'm going to switch you guys over to the heat press. Well, while that's cutting, I said printing, I think. And... I do with that what did I do with it all right okay now I have no idea what I did with that piece I told y'all I already had. I have no idea where it went that fast. I just had it. I just showed y'all. I had another cut. Now where did it go? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, that's the one. All right. So it's all printed. I'm going to take this and tape it down. So the only thing you guys didn't see me do is tape the, I mean, is press the laminate to it. So I pressed the laminate before we cut it. So this is already laminated. The other one that I just cut is actually for the backing. I use a roll of laminate. It's available on Amazon. And now I'm just going to flip it over. And then tape it to... Thank you. 
So 365, 30 seconds, just like everything else. Ah! I limit, I'm not limited, I just press it for 10 seconds. You can watch that in the beginning. Oh, oh, oh. Although I got this part on camera already. All right, so this, I probably should have pressed it for a little bit longer. This is actually tacky paper, which I didn't mean to use this one, but it was in there. And something else so I end up printing to tacky paper I'm gonna take all of my tape off and then because it's see how this comes off better when I was saying before it comes off better when it's hot sheesh all right it doesn't rip your paper when it's hot If you don't bite your nails like me, you can probably get yours off a whole lot easier. But when you have little nubs, you know, you make life harder for yourself. Maybe in 2022, I'll stop biting my nails. I know that's a big old fat fib, but hey, wishful thinking. All right. And it's actually, see, it's sticky, tacky paper. It's not going to move. It's stuck to it. But... It can have like little imperfections, and this was a little bit off. I can see the white at the top, but that's okay. Yeah, see, I don't know. And it only really this time it only did it at the bottom. Yeah, see, if you use a tacky paper, you can't play around with it. You got to get it off. I mean, it's going to come off of it with a little bit of water, but you got to get it off. See? And let me try and get that off. Don't oversaturate because that is still regular paper behind this. You can see the gloss and the shine on the tacky paper compared to the fast dry. Let me turn you guys back around. And where did my phone go? So I can record my TikTok content.
can use another big, big stick. Thank <laughs> you. 
All righty. So that's done. So then, oh, then there were five. If you don't want to, if you want to know what they look like on the side, very thin profile. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's two of them. The very first one and this one that I need to glue the tassel down. And I had to do that because it's a very thin point right here. And when you, if you fan it, it will definitely snap. So I just tacked it down to the back of his ear so that it's connected with everything else. I'm going to go back to the desk, Ooh, to my computer, Ooh, if I can get over here. All this stuff fell down behind me. Hold on. Just to recap what all we did today, I designed these in Silhouette Studio. Um, I realized I actually could have done this as a print cut, but I was having issues with my regular printer anyway. Um, and then on glossy photo paper, my 7840 kept putting pinwheels on it. So I had to come up with a different plan. And I ended up stretching it a little bit bigger, but it actually still would have fit inside of the print and cut area. But this allowed me to not have to use registration marks or anything like that. So I just cut the outline on laminated cardstock. So I just took some regular white, 80 pound, or it can really be any pound cardstock because I double mine up and I put the skeleton inside of it. So you can even use like a 60, but it's either 80 or 60. I don't use 100. I laminated it. I have a 12 inch roll of laminate. Well, this was 24. I used my husband's table saw to split it in half, but they do sell either 12 or 13 inches wide on Amazon. Put it over your cardstock, press it for 10 seconds, and it's going to be stuck to it. Then I put it on the cameo, let it cut the out, like let it cut the outline. And so I did that for all four of those first. So I laminated all of them, 
and let it cut the outside, well, the outline. And then I put a plain piece of cardstock back on the mat, let it cut that four times for the backing. Then we took the sublimation print, took our laminated piece, taped it to the sublimation print, and then pressed it 365 degrees for 30 seconds using, honestly speaking, sublimation paper, which... Oh, wait, dang it. I was trying to, let's do it like this. Wait, wrong way. There we go. That paper back there, honestly speaking, sublimation paper, it's available on our website, hsinc365.com. Again, that is hsinc365.com. Don't talk about the rest of our crazy background. And then we pressed it. Then we use wood sticks to create a skeleton so that this is nice and sturdy. Ooh, almost snapped the stick. I did snap the stick. I'm going to have to glue that. But that was me being very, very rough. But most people aren't going to fan it like that. But you really can use this as a fan. But now I just snapped the stick, so now I got to glue it. Um, and then put the backing on it and... This is our finished product. <coughs> um, have you used the paint sticks from Home Depot starting to pack for 98 cents? They're the same size as the ones from Amazon. Just found them. Yes, I mentioned that in the beginning that I do get my thicker ones from um I've actually I like to get them when they're 50 cents and I really go in and probably take all of them. When they're 50 cents, but yes, I use the ones from Home Depot as well. Any any of them will work. I don't use the thick ones though, only the thin ones. Um, she says much better process than what I was doing. So I normally do them where I just print them and do a print and cut. Um, and it's if you have issues with print and cut, hold on, this is driving me nuts. So if you are someone that has issue with print cuts, I really don't have issues with like my print and cuts registering or anything like that. But if you are someone that does, this is a great alternative because you don't have to worry about print and cut. Or if you are a Cricut, you, well, you still have to do two steps to be able to do it if you're a Cricut user. So you'll still have, I mean, you can cut it and send it to your, um, send it to your Cricut machine to cut, but you'll still need to print from Silhouette Studio or a different program. Um, oh, dang it. And I'm just trying to glue that so that it doesn't come loose. But it does allow you to do a bigger print and cut and it's it is more it's more expensive to do it this way because when you're just doing it to regular paper, you're just printing it to your um, cardstock. Well, I use I normally I use matte photo paper. I don't really use I don't really like the glossy one anyway. I normally use matte photo paper. The reason why I actually prefer to use matte photo paper is if someone takes a picture of this with a flash, you're gonna see the flash. So I actually prefer matte. I really I rarely ever do them as glossies. And when I do them as matte, I don't laminate mine at all because I use pigment ink and pigment ink is waterproof. So even if it gets wet, nothing's going to happen to it. Um, but you have to think about doing it this way. You have the added cost of laminate sheets. So you have your regular cardstock. Although my cardstock that I use for them is quite, ex it's not expensive, but it's more expensive than just like getting a generic brand. So doing it this way, you can get like a really cheap brand of cardstock. Um, and be able to do this. You don't have to do like, I don't have to use my good, good, like great, great print quality card stock. I can just use any card stock for it. So, um, so you have the added cost of laminate. <clears throat> and then if you're, of course you're printing to sublimation paper. The ink is going to be the same, whether it's from a regular printer or sublimation printer. Um, and then of course your electricity from your heat press. So it's a little bit more to do this, do it this way, but some people may find it still to be easier. Um, 
You're very welcome. Oh, thank you so very much for the super chat. Thank you. I know, right? It's like you paid for a whole class. Thank you for paying for your class. Um, if anybody else wants to, you know, the cash app is in the description of this video. HS Inc. 365 is the cash app. If you'd like to pay for this whole class that you got for a whole hour and 42 minutes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, hey. Um, I was watching some of the older videos today. Yeah, there's seven years of content on my channel. But that's that. So I did see her on here, my love. They are done. Whenever you are right there, you can come by and pick them up. Because they are done. They done. And your tumbler is done. So there's the one for the baby. And because I printed on the wrong side of the paper, you also have one. It's just not as vibrant. But I actually like the texture on here. But you now have one too because um, I printed on the wrong side of the paper. But there is your babies. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same. I just took off that one and put this, which is this image. And I changed the picture from that one to this one because it had a cap on it. So I talked about this yesterday as far as um, when you are able to do more things and once you design and you have your foundation, it makes it a lot easier to basically upsell them. Although I never have to upsell this one because she upsells me and makes me do 30,000 things. <coughs> but it's easier to upsell because you have the foundation. So you don't have to charge them a whole other design fee because you've already prepped the pictures, have your background, have your fonts, and it's just a matter of rearranging them. I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to make her a mug for one of her parents because they're going to, they're going to probably try and steal her tumbler. So I probably have to make a mug. So I have to take that and shrink it down to make a mug. Watch. Um, and I'm probably giving her ideas. She's going to be like, mm, girl, yeah, add one of those. But this is from what was originally a vest. So she'll probably post pictures. And I'll share with you guys the pictures. I'll be like, oh, she'll probably take a picture of it on the hanger or whatever. So it started off as a vest. And then I also made a skirt. I was going to make some ties, but... Um, time got the best of me because I was sick. Um, so I got a late start on it. And then today we went, um, shopping. So I, you know, time was not my friend this week, wasn't on my side, but I could have easily taken it and transformed it into a, um, into a tie, but this actually all started. So as you can see on his stole, I originally designed that. So the class of 2021, which is also right here, was originally on the stole. This image here I'd already gotten, and that's on like the other one. The grad, this says actually says graduate, but I just took off the rest of it, and that's where that comes in at. And then like some of these other elements and having the fonts for those end up on the shirt and like his name. Um, so this was pretty cool with this picture too, because normally I put their names on it, but I didn't have to with this one because I used the picture where he had the stole on and his name is right here. Although you can't see the J and the A, but his name is there. So I thought that was a pretty, that was pretty cool to where his name is still on here without it being big. And I was able to make other elements stand out. So these are things like I kind of like go through my head when I'm designing. If you want to, you know, take a peek into my brain as how I design, I encourage each and every one of you to join my academy where I teach graphic designing via Silhouette Studio enrollment closes december 31st after december 31st it will be closed you will not be able to um join the full-on membership until open enrollment will open up again in september no i'll, I'll actually open up a little bit early so i'll probably open it up in august but classes don't start for the new semester i guess you can call it like the new year of classes they don't start until october so you have until December 31st to get in on this one. You have all of the content from the pilot program, which was like three months, but it officially started October. So you'll get all the content from October to September if you, you know, join. And all, of course, January, it'll be back live classes. And if you don't, then you have to wait all the way until 
October for new classes to start because that's the start of our fiscal year. And there are there will be other classes, like I have a la carte classes for different things. But as far as my academy to learn how to design like this, December 31st is the deadline. It will cut off December 31st. And to really get into the nitty gritty of this, master's program is probably going to be your best option. Um, as we get closer to the end of the year, because we're going over a lot of the fundamentals right now, we will start to work on and build designs. Um, under master's, we work on graduation designs in either March or April. Normally, it's only two, but that month, I'm going to do a couple extras because it's a lot for graduation designs. And I'll show you one of the other ones. And this week, oh, this was, this ain't the one I wanted to show. I, this, this is one, though, that this one, the colors were messing up. But I have another one. I think I probably threw it away. But as you can tell, see, like this one, it's a different type of bottom, and her name is on it. Um, this was something new this year that has like the 21. So I designed these quite a few different ways. I don't ever have like one way of designing them. <coughs> There's quite a few pictures on my Instagram, Sillahawks Anonymous. Actually, on the Elite Prints and Creations, I probably need to add them to Sillahawks Anonymous, but there's quite a few of them on there. And the templates. We'll be, they're on my website. You can buy them a la carte, but I am working. I know it's a, lot, it's a lot of stuff I still have to add to the vault. And this weekend, I plan to do that because it's just been me being sick. A lot of craziness going on. Um, so once I'm no longer doing live videos, I have more time to actually add all this stuff to the vault. So I'll be adding the, um, I'll be adding the templates from 2018, which are, are still available on our site. And then my templates from last year will go on the site. I'm going to tell you now, if you get the vault, the designs that you will see me do for graduation season 2022 will not be available until after the grad season. I never release my current templates for sale because I like to be exclusive. I'm just saying. I mean, you can try and recreate them, but I don't release my templates the year that I am doing them, but y'all can use them and they'll be great for the next year. I just don't release them the year that I'm doing them. So when you see me do videos and you see me making um, uh, fans in May and April, don't ask where them templates at because you're not going to get them until January 2023. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, hold on. All right, so that's that. All right, y'all, I'm going to get out of here because I'm being summoned by my kids. I missed the rest of the movie. They're supposed to be sleeping, but they're not, and they're asking for hugs and kisses. So I got to go because the little ones want their hugs and their kisses. Bevo, they go betty bye. Um, and I have to make one more shirt because Zion Imani's Christmas party. We got the young man a gift, but I'm actually about to design a shirt too. So that uh, my, and this is crazy. I'm always trying to get my business name up in folks' house. But I don't really like to do custom stuff, but it's just naturally like I always have to make something, even if I give a regular gift. So, yeah, I'm about to make um, a shirt and um, put it with his gift with our business name on it. Because, I mean, once we go into the shop, I will be doing more custom stuff. So, yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you so very much for joining me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you have not given this video a thumbs up already, what are you waiting on? Give this video a thumbs up. Drop some hearts, 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 hearts. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're watching over on YouTube. If you're watching over on Facebook, head over to our YouTube. We have two of them. Technically, we now have three YouTube. Well, I personally have five different YouTubes. I actually have one that's like a vlog one where I was vlogging when I was pregnant with MJ. I need to get back to that. And then I have another one. But for creatives, we now have three YouTube channels. So you have Honestly Speaking 365. Well, that was information. Honestly Speaking 365, Soloholics Anonymous, and 365 Creative Academy, which will have a lot of like different content. Um, 
honestly speaking, will pretty much be like sublimation and like anything I can do with pigment ink as we get more products. So anything that I have, like if I'm ever using our products, it will be an honestly speaking come 2022. 365 Creative Academy, it allows me to teach a wide, wide variety of things. I just got my solo. So I'll be able to do like videos on that. I want to add a little bit more like um, beginner and like it's only a few of them. I don't really like to teach Photoshop, but like Photoshop Illustrator, I have my role in and I want to be like people are always asking me for videos for that. So that's a mixture of silhouette and like versa works. So even though I'm going to use Silhouette, I'm not going to put it on Silhouette Anonymous. It'll be on 365 Creative Academy. So yes, I have three YouTube channels. Y'all go over there and find it, 365 Creative Academy. Go like it, find it, and subscribe. Um, what else? So subscribe, like, and share. And also, if you ever want to support, it can be a win-win situation here. Like what you see, want to support? go ahead over to our website, hsinc365.com. And that is where you will find all of our amazing sublimation products, as well as our pigment ink. And there is a lot more to come. I'm telling y'all, y'all ain't gonna be ready for us 2022. Um, you know, some folks said they were gonna make it hard for me to succeed, but honey, we are thriving over here. <laughs> Um, so visit our website, hsinc365.com. All costs are on sale. And if you are watching, I promise you Sunday, I will have those class bundles because I will be free from live videos. I can focus. So sometimes Saturday night, Sunday, um, I will have those classes bundled up. Like all the ones that are just subclasses, all the ones that are silhouette designing classes and things like that. I will have all that done because I'll, some of them I have to put on 365 Creative Academy's YouTube because the videos are too large to go. So I'm, I've been working on it. So if you're watching, the bundles will be up. I promise you, I promise you, by Sunday, okay? But if you want any single classes, they are on sale, 60% off. They will be that way until the end of the year. And it's only the classes that are on the Academy. So if you see like um, this square one, like a uh, thumbnail, it's not those, okay? Um, waiting on your opinion on the solo before I purchase. So because I'm about to go on hiatus, unfortunately, you won't see that until 2022, maybe, or I'll, because I like to unbox live, but I don't know what I'm going to do because I like to, um, I'll try to actually unbox Saturday because as of Sunday, I can't do any more lives. So <laughs> I'll try and unbox it on Saturday. Even if I don't use it, like just yet, I'll unbox it and try and look at the program and all that stuff just so that you guys kind of have an idea. And then if I do like a pre-recorded one and then upload that and then come 2023, you'll see videos of that on 365 Creative Academy. All right. All right, y'all. Thank you so very much for joining. Until next time. <coughs> I knew I was going to get out of here without coughing. Have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.